Hey everybody, it's Natalie and today I want to show you guys how to add music to your TouchPix events for your 360 photo booth business. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to YouTube to get the song that you need and you can just type it in, but whatever song you want, just make sure that you add lyrics behind it. And today I'm going to just do 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars and I'm going to search lyrics and then you're going to go to the one with the lyrics. Click on that. No, I do not want to watch a commercial. And then you want to go and push share. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy the URL. Close that down. And then once you have Discover that. Family fun at Kentucky Kingdom. So then once you have that, you're going to go to convert it from a YouTube video to an MP3 format. So you can just type in. Google YouTube to MP3 and if you can look in my URL right here, I'm at YouTube MP3 free.com slash EN. You're going to go and you're going to uh, control V and you're going to just paste that URL and then push convert now. Now be careful with these MP3 converters because they do have a lot of spam and ads and things like that that pop up. So you got to be careful what you click on. And it does take a little bit for it to download and reformat it into a mp3 so once that's going we got it so we got that be careful now you want to download your mp3 look there's a lot of stuff that pops up you see this exit out of that okay now your file will pop up at the bottom right come on your file will pop up at the bottom right there then once you have your file, you want to go to mp3cut.net. And this is where you choose what part of the song that you want. Now, make sure that you ask your customers, your clients, what part of the song they want. Be careful what side of the song they want because if it's a child, you want you don't want to get the wrong part of a song. And they are, it's cussing or saying, you know, vulgar, it's saying vulgar things and stuff like that. So just make sure you ask your customer what part of the song they want. Now. You want to go and you can, once the file is already down here, you can slide it and just drop it. Or you can just search for it on your computer. And then when you're getting your song, make sure that you're make it, trimming it to a good size for it so that the video won't run out. So I usually do 30 seconds just to be safe. And then you just slide it and then you just pick what part of the song you want and then make sure it's 30 seconds. So there you go. Now you want to go to the bottom and you want to save it. Make sure it says MP3 right here. There's different formats that you can use. You want to use MP3. Push save. Save it. It's going to download at the bottom. Then you want to go to your TouchPix account. And then you want to create an event. Create a custom event. And I'm just going to take you guys on how I create my events. And then you just want to name your event so you can know which event you have. And I'm just going to pick tutorial. tutorial. And then English is your language, and I'm in the United States. I do countdown for three seconds. Four is just random number. It's weird. You don't have to worry about this. Those settings are, are pretty good. You're not going to do any prints because it's a 360 photo booth. You're going to uncheck photos, boomerangs, GIFs, and videos because you're just going to want to do the slow-mo. And then your recording time. I usually keep it at 4.5 because after that it comes out as like about a 20 second video. And then you want to add your audio file right here. Choose your file. Put it in there. And you should be good to go. Now these things, uh, I usually do the thanks screen for like 5 seconds. And that's just like at the end of after they put their information in it will say thanks. Editing, there's not going to be any editing because it's going to be a video. Sharing, that will let it stay up for a long time, so I keep it at 12. And then there will be no props, so don't even worry about that. It won't pop up. And these are going to be your sharing methods. And I usually just, sometimes I just take off the, I just take off like Facebook sometimes, WhatsApp. You could take off Twitter. And then I like you got it. I leave on the email, 
download, copy, airdrop, QR code, definitely, in general. And then you won't have the edit screen. And then you want to leave the in-app gallery alone because this will allow them to be able to go back and see their video and share it any way they want. When you do your subject for your email, this is what's going to pop up when people receive the email of their video or the text message that they receive. So, so what I do is if whatever event it is, I just say, I just name that event. So I just put the subject is 360 photo booth. And thank you for using, and then you can put in whatever the event is. So say it's somebody's birthday, you say, you know, whoever their name is, somebody birthday, somebody's birthday photo booth, okay? You know, so it makes it special for the people. And then thank you for using whoever's birthday. I'm just going to put Natalie because my name is Natalie. Natalie's photo booth click to view and then you can just do all that all over again every time you can just copy it as well and then you put Natalie's photo booth copy and paste it right here copy and paste it and then copy and paste it and then you put Natalie's birthday photo booth sometimes you have to add a little bit more there's not gonna be any props and this is when people are looking at the sharing station and you can just personalize it. You can add your logo here for your app logo and it will show up when people are looking at the sharing station. You can put your company name. My company is Ideal Photo Booth, Photo Booth Rentals. And then you can just like change the screen if you want to. So it, you can personalize it to whatever the theme of that party is. And like say it's, you know, last time I did like, it was a like a neon themed event. So this made the buttons green, like a neon green. And it makes it fun. And then the app, I did the logo. You can do the background. You can add a background if you want to. You can just do that. Or, and you can do a web gallery background. That's the web gallery is the full gallery that is uploaded to the online gallery. The web gallery is the online gallery and you can add a custom background if you want, but I just usually leave it blank. All right. You wanna agree and you wanna submit. And then you can take a picture of your QR code because you will need the QR code when you're activating your event. And I will create a video on how to do an overlay and how to activate your event and to set up your event. So subscribe to my channel so you can get those videos and updates on helping you with your 360 photo booth business. Thank you guys for watching and bye.